my name is Karuna and I will be the artist tattooing you today. So I see that you've already um, had the sizing done. You want it about this big, right? Okay, I'm gonna be drawing it today. Um, I'm gonna be transferring it on the transfer paper over there, but I'm going to kind of need a better idea of what exactly you want. So, you wanted something like this, right? Purple and blue? Like ink blot kind of thing? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two rough sketches on this type of paper, which is the same as my sketchbook over here, which I'll show you the transfers. If you can tell, the paper is a lot more dense and makes for better detailing and things like that and then whenever I actually put it on the area of your body that you want I'm going to be using this book right here and the paper here will transfer right onto your skin once I put wet ink on it which surprisingly today I'm using gel pens so um, gel pens, the ink is very dense as well, which goes straight into the paper and straight onto your skin. You see a lot of tattoo artists using things like, um, usually just pen ink, but this paper is actually better. They use like tissue paper almost to transfer it, but I find more dense, um, paper like this to be easier to work with especially when it comes to tattooing. So, have you ever had any tattoos before? Yeah, but I, I have to ask whether or not you're covered in them or what. We just gotta be, one thing I find with a lot of tattoo artists, as you can tell, this arm right here, um, I was a guinea pig when I was 14 years old for a guy who did all of the tattoos he wanted to on this arm. And then, as you can tell on this arm, it's a lot more professional a lot more detailed. My father, um, Buddhist portrait, even though I'm not a Buddhist, um, BDSM, and then these were even done when I was younger than that, 14 years old, and it hasn't spread tattoos like this um, that aren't professional tend to fade out over the years and spread if not done professionally, so that's why I have to ask. So basically, I'm gonna give you the rundown. I'm going to, again, we're going to sketch your tattoo here and then I'm going to trace it over onto here followed by applying it on your arm now while that dries I will remove my rings we like to keep everything sterile here every single tattoo we do we use a fresh roll of paper towels and the reason we use paper towels is because as I start your tattoo with my tattoo gun it's very professional by the way I'm going to be, because of the ink spreading all over, spraying your arm down with this, or wherever you choose to get the tattoo, and then use a um, paper towel to wipe the tattoo as I do it, because this is actually filled with oil, which helps just soak up any ink into the liquid that isn't already down in your skin making it easier for me to tattoo so yes it might sting a little bit but overall tattoos feel like you're getting like a vibrating massage almost it's very relaxing if you're in the right environment and that's what I like to say here so once I transfer it onto your arm we're gonna let it dry I'm gonna set up you wanted blue and purple so I've got professional purple and blue tattoo ink I'm going to be putting a few drops of the ink into these caps and that gives me access to the gun right into the caps. I have one latex glove I'm going to be using to tattoo with and then my hand to spread out the skin. And whenever you're finished, I'll be sending you home with this anointed tattoo beeswax. They say use a and ointment, but a and ointment can actually worsen scarring on a tattoo. It doesn't necessarily remove the ink, but it removes the ability for the skin to heal without a nasty scar. So, let's go. 
let's get started. Obviously the scissors to cut out your design when finished. Alright. So again, you're looking for an inkblot tattoo, preferably without the constellation, just kind of a mixture of certain things, am I right? Okay, great. And no worries, don't worry about the nails, they don't inhibit me from, or debilitate me from doing certain things. You know, this notebook, I was actually looking for a notebook just like this, and it was given to me by a, believe it or not, a nurse? But yeah, the story is she got it from some crazy artist lady who got it from some face painter who got it from God knows where this notebook seems to have been everywhere, man. But I've been looking for the paper forever now and it turns out I just found out. Do you want just like an even mixture of ink blot? Like, you know what I mean? Like more purple or more blue on one side? Okay. Alright, so real quick, I'm just going to sketch out, like, do you want it in a certain, like, is a heart okay? Like, kind of mixture of ink, like, I'll make it obviously not like the paper. Okay, yeah, we'll do just like a heart now. <clears throat> do the toughness on your skin. Um, where would you like this? Do you want it somewhere it'll show, or do you want it... That's fine, that's actually perfect, so we'll put it there. This will take me a minute. I'm usually good when it comes to sketching, so. And again, this is just a sketch, so. So what made you get a tattoo today? Yeah? <laughs> That's usually what they do. What we do. So there's some people who plan for years to get a certain tattoo, and then there's people like me who just go and get random tattoos all over my body that I'll regret when I'm older. But surprisingly, there was a period of time when I didn't like any of the tattoos on my body that I had gotten, like I said, as a guinea pig. But, uh, you learn that it's part of your story. It's kind of like mistakes that stay, if that makes sense. Like, these will be on my arms for the rest of my life, but they show a lesson, you know what I mean, that I can continuously go back to. But then on this arm, that's more, like, professional and thought out, you know, I can look at each arm and be like, you know, whenever the whole scheme of my artist like artistry is done I plan on getting this whole arm in color whenever I fix it up you'll always see the bottom underneath tattoos like these will always be here but whatever I cover it up with it's like I could still always go back and look at the lesson but darkness on my left arm color on my right right brain is color left brain is logic so that's my idea but uh, yeah So is this a good size for you, number one? And is this going to be okay to go on your body, number two? Obviously the heart will be a lot more, like I have to retrace it onto the transfer paper, so. 
Great. All right, let's see. Let me put it up to you just so I can... I think I just literally ate some gel ink off my hand. But we're sanitary, we're sanitary. Okay. So you like that then? And that's a good area to put it? Okay. Just spreading the skin. Yeah. There will be no worries of transfer or anything like that, so... Oh, would you look at this? Huh. One of my sketchbooks, I just found some old photos of me. As you can tell, I was just the, uh... Funny one. This was the first boyfriend I ever had. I love you, Scott. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> my husband would laugh at that. And then this is my old best friend. <laughs> That's interesting that I just came over these or found these. All right. Okay. So I'm just going to place this underneath here. Sketch over it. So where are you from? Oh yeah? Eh, I'm close to there, but not too far. So you didn't have to travel too far to come around here, huh? That's cool. Yeah, I totally feel the same way. I'm actually 26, what about you? Really? got me into tattoos, like I said, was whenever I was younger, I strived to be like everybody else, so whatever I thought was in style at the time. And I guess I still do that, like, if you notice, like, if you come in here or see me often, you'll see me wearing, like, a certain type of clothing, like a crop top or, like, really sh short boardy, excuse me, really short booty shorts, because I think that it's, like, aesthetic or some, I don't know. I always try to be like somebody I'm not, but... I know that's not the case, so, but, uh, yeah, I think it's gonna rain. I know, talking about the weather, right? Definitely always want to do that. I'm actually going to DC tomorrow with my husband, so you caught me on a good day. Yeah, we're gonna go visit the museums and things like that, so. You know what, I have a good idea. You can tell me if you don't want this because even if I transfer it, it won't, obviously it'll wipe off with the oils here. But tell me if you like it, so just hang on one second. Okay, so we're done with this ink. Definitely don't be nervous. Like I said, if you're in a relaxed environment where your artist will talk to you and like just be friends with you and everything like that, like I find it a lot easier to get tattoos without it, you know, hurting. So 
I told you definitely it would look a lot better than the, the actual tracing, so what do you think of that? I mean, obviously this will look a lot more like this. So, but anyway, what I was talking about was this like, I was gonna like ink blot it around here as well. If you don't want it, you don't have to get it, but. All right, great, yeah. So what's going to happen since this ink is still wet is go ahead and lean forward. I'm just going to place this right on here like so, okay? Or you know what? This will actually help it stick. Okay. It almost turned it green and I like that. All right, hold on. Hang on one second. I'm just smoothing this on the skin. Okay, now we're gonna gently, gently peel it off, okay? okay. All right, let me just examine that. that dry and I'm gonna set up and make sure the oils are mixed in there. Two gonna.
plug it in down here. Okay. You know what? Maybe need a little bit longer than that. Just Yeah, we'll keep it all the way. Or maybe. Are you ready? Yeah? It definitely looks dry, so I'm just gonna... Okay, all right. We're about to start, okay? Okay. Hang on one second. Just want to make sure I have this ready. But don't worry, we'll get it done and we'll do it as quick as possible, okay? It's not so bad so far, right? <laughs> Alright, you ready? Okay, get ready. Okay, ready? Yeah, right now I'm just kind of doing the uh, shading from the inside from where the ink block it and block eh, ink blot is, and then I'm gonna do the outline. doing where all the blue is and then we'll do the outline with both blue and purple.
a little bit rough right here whenever you wipe it, but you know, you gotta get the ink off somehow. All right, so the shading is done in the inside. So now I'm gonna switch needles to the other side and do the outline, okay? So the difference between this and this is this has maybe 10 needles on it compared to this, which has 20 needles on it, which makes for the, usually you would use this for the outline and this for the shading, but since I'm doing ink blot, it's more along the lines of thinner whenever you're doing inside and um, thicker when you're doing the outside. So just get a little bit of ink. Ready? We're almost done, I promise. We just need to do the purple and we'll be done. Okay, you ready? Almost done, okay? Just a couple more seconds. Maybe a minute at that. I know, but it's just the end, so yeah, that looks great. Unplug my machine. That looks so beautiful, oh my goodness. All right. Go ahead and look in the mirror right there. You like it? All right, great, that's awesome. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is keep this glove on and I'm gonna glob it up. So it might be a little bit sore, but smell this. Yeah, okay, so let's get a nice glob out of there. Okay. So, all right, to take care of this, what I'm gonna need you to do is go home, wait about four or five hours, keep it completely air dry. I can't stand when tattoo artists tape something to it unless it's a very large piece. Yours, on the other hand, is not, which means it can completely air dry and be safe. I need you to wash it at least twice a day. For the first day, do not wash it at all. Wait until tomorrow morning. Take any type of antibacterial soap, unscented, 
and gently put some in your hand, take some warm water and don't touch the tattoo, just splash it. Like take the water from the sink, make a mess, do whatever you need to do, splash the tattoo, okay? Then what I'm gonna need you to do, pump some antibacterial soap unscented in your hand and go very gentle. I know the tattoo's gonna hurt afterwards, it's just life. Um, just gently tap it and then do this. Just go very gently. What that's going to do is any all the antibacterial soap is going to um, absorb any of the unnecessary ink, any ink that did not go into the skin, which I guarantee, as you can see, it did. Um, and then all you have to do then is take either a paper towel or a fluff towel and just go really, really gently like this, like. And dab, 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 dab. It dry, obviously not as rough as I'm doing it. Do that at least twice a day after the first day of the tattoo. Continue that for at least two to three months. And then from there, either four to six weeks, it doesn't matter. So that's like a month and a half. From there, you're going to start wanting to, um, obviously, for that time too, after you wash your tattoo, apply a small layer of this, which you'll notice with um, these types of creams that, or if you want to call beeswax, waxes, uh, the product will stay on even after you put the antibacterial soap on it like you'll never get it perfectly absorbed or cleaned off which is completely okay no worries just apply a new layer each time throughout the day if it dries out apply a new layer the stuff is literally healing for the body like it's it's perfect so I'm gonna give you that and otherwise from four to six weeks after that um, apply an unscented lotion on it if it's looking dry I just got this done and I keep this completely dry. I do not put any lotion. It's been four to six weeks. What I do is I actually use Aveeno um, oatmeal body wash and that stuff, that and oil of Olay, even with the parabens in them, trust me, I know they're bad for you. Um, just put it in a poof sponge and dab, 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 dab over the tattoo. When you're in the shower, even after you've wiped it, um, if obviously you get in the shower and you clean it, you don't have to clean it with antibacterial soap. That can count as a wash. Um, Everything unscented is good. You don't want anything, unfortunately, like I said, with parabens, the only good thing about Oil of Olay um, body wash that has the parabens in them is um, how moisturized the product is. You want something very moisturizing for the skin. Even use your facial moisturizer. Um, usually a lot of makeup pro products nowadays are vegan, meaning they have no bad byproducts in them and it's complete moisturized natural product. So any of the moisturizer, like maybe if you use any on your face, if you do, you could put a little bit in the darker areas, like for the purples rather than the blue, because the blue is light. Um, your tattoo's obviously gonna fade out, not dramatically, but yeah. So any questions? All right, so, but yeah, it was incredible uh, experience today. I hope you were very comfortable. Uh, if you could, maybe if you have some time in about two to three months, unless you're coming in for a new tattoo, stop by, let me see how it looks healed. I'll take a picture of it for my book and yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. Maybe we'll schedule a new tattoo, so. But yeah, it was so nice working with you and I guess I will see you soon. Okay. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. Bye.